What's good, T Trap? Tiana T. Yeah, that's me, and I'm back at it again with another video. So, today, what I have in store for you is I'm gonna be meal prepping. And why I'm meal prepping is because, you know, we're still in quarantine. Your girl been her feelings. Your girl been eating snacks. Your girl been in the house. And your girl been putting on pounds. I just started working out like two weeks ago. I started eating good, except, you know, I, ch I take my cheat meal seriously. So, I kind of overdid it a couple times. And also, when I be going to Chipotle, I be like, oh, Chipotle's healthy. And I'm getting them healthy from Chipotle. It don't work out. So anyway, it's not too late to get you a body fresh out of quarantine. Because as you see, as you all know, we still in this bitch. We still in the house. So, go ahead and come with me on this journey of meal prepping. So, I'm meal prepping for the week. Because I'm leaving to... Oh, well, it's like this. I'm going to Chicago this weekend and I'm about to eat like complete crap. Cause like, how you gonna go to Chicago and not get a glizzy and not get a deep dish pizza and try out everything else? How you gonna go to Chicago and not do that? So I'm definitely gonna do that and indulge, but the thing is, it's all about balance. If I eat healthy today through Thursday, I can eat bad Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And guess what? It's okay, cause when I come back home, I'm back on my shit again, and yeah. Enough talking, guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we working with, all right? So, this is what we got here. Ooh, this is supposed to be a better thing. So we got uh, some good old broccoli. Got some good old kale. We got the sweet potatoes on deck. We got the baby spinach. We got Salmon, oh my God, I love me some salmon. We got cheese. I know they say cheese is bad, especially for me, because I'm lactose, but I'm lactose sometimes. Oh, can't forget about the mushrooms. We got some ground turkey. You probably wonder what I'm gonna do with all this. Then we got some steak. Cause you know, you can't cook steak, you know, cold. I gotta let it get room temp, then I gotta put it on the grill. Anyway, we got some two big thick onions, you know, thick like they owner. But you know, I'm finna get eight. Egg whites are important. Organic grape tomatoes. Then we got cucumber. That made a video? Cucumber. Cucumber. <laughs> I'm doing a breakfast meal prep. I'm doing lunch meal prep. And I'm doing dinner. Good old dinner. So, to get started, the first thing we gonna do is we gonna start with the easy stuff. The first thing we gonna do, which is easy, is the sweet potatoes. And guess what we're doing with these? We're just gonna take the little tags off, we're gonna wash them up, and we're gonna throw them in the oven so they can bake for like 45 to an hour, and then boom, those are done. Those are easy, right? Exactly. Yes, I am gonna speed this part up because I'm just washing potatoes, so like, do y'all want me to talk while I'm doing that? Absolutely not, because I wouldn't. I won't wanna wash that. So anyway, go wash the potatoes. All right, I got my sweet potatoes lined up good. Let me show y'all. They're all nice and glossy from that water, good water. Got them on the pan. I got my oven preset to 375 and we're ready to knock it out. Bye bye my little delights. I'll we'll be setting a timer for that. So what we're gonna do is just check it with a fork in about 30 minutes. All right. Like I said, we got two potatoes in the oven. So now we're gonna get the salmon popping and first things first, gonna get your good old Power right, fish, got that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut them over. Got good old olive oil from Trader Joe's. You know, again, all this was is responsibly sourced. And matter of fact, I didn't even go get my own groceries. You know, I used the good old Amazon. You know, Amazon and Whole Foods is like, you know, linked together. So you order your groceries, get free shipping if you're a Prime member, which I am. You know, good old student, student Prime discount. So anyway, I put some oil on the bottom of the pan. Cause who wants to put salmon in as is? Just gonna, it's like a waste of time. So I'm cutting them open individually. And I had one of these pieces earlier, y'all. Oh! It's like I could taste the weight falling off. Like literally, it was just so, so healthy, so fresh, so delicious. I was like, dang, whoever raised this salmon 
raised them with so much love. I can taste the love all up in there. So, so we got going on. Plan to cook like seven pieces of salmon and because this pack only comes with six, I was gonna add this little bitty piece in. And don't it just look, don't it just look wrong. This is so fresh, this is so natural. This just look fake, it look, it just look like it's full of all that bad stuff that they put in um, tilapia. It's just like, I don't even know why I even still got this. I just didn't wanna throw it away and waste some food. But anyway, we're going with the good salmon, the good shit. All right, so what I got is salt. This is Himalayan pink salt from Whole Foods. Cause I love Whole Foods. Anyway, I just go right on top and just sprinkle it all on there. If you're afraid of salt, get off my channel cause my food is not gonna be nasty. On my channel, we use salt, we use seasonings. And if you're afraid of salt, if you be like, oh, that's too much salt, go ahead and click off now because I don't make no food that's not good. And plus this is, this is sea salt. Sea salt is different and also sea salt take a lot more than regular iod iod iodine salt so anyway then i go in with the pepper just enough to see it you know make it all nice and pretty you know we sprinkle to the ancestors say stop <laughs> that side then got me some good old garlic powder Ooh. You don't want to focus? It's garlic powder, garlic powder, guys. Just go on top. Let's get one delicious and everything. And that's why I sprinkle as is because guess what? The salt that fell off, boom. You can just sop it up like that. So yeah, that is the luxuries of pretty much salting and freehanding it. And I do like to get the bottom, cause you want the bottom to be good too. I don't do much with that, I just like a little salt, a little salt sprinkle. Mm. I want a little bit of Mrs. Dash. And I really can go hard with this because it's salt free for y'all who are afraid of salt, but anyway. Just go ahead and sprinkle some of that on. Just like a little extra flavor, a little extra herbs and whatnot. And here's the very important part. So, if you don't want your salmon to taste like fishy salmon, you want like the freshest, like most, sorry, you want the freshest, like most delicious and like genuine tasting salmon, you gotta get the good old lemons. So I took two lemons and cut them in half. And that's what I got here. So I'm just gonna pour right on. Squeeze it all over. Make sure it gets in there good. Hopefully no seeds fall. If they fall, just pick them right on out. Put it all on there. And you know, like I said, the lemon takes out that fishy aftertaste. Personally, I like that. But when I had it with lemon, I was like, ooh. Cause you know, lemon is really good for you. Lemon is really good weight loss agent. And you know, helps you digest your food well. So yeah, I'm going in with two lemons. Hey, chili peppers. Those are good for losing weight too. Who knew, right? Anyway, a little spicy food, so I'm just gonna go crazy with it as much as I can, cause it's really, oh. Yeah, I broke my top the other day. Anyway, just gonna pour it right on top so I can, it makes it all nice and pretty. Oh, so beautiful. Let me put that to the side. Ooh, so pretty. It's gonna be like a nice little drizzle of honey all over on top. Makes it so delicious. And I'm really upset because I was supposed to go and rub the salmon in olive oil before I seasoned it, but I did not. But we're gonna fix it. It's gonna drizzle some on top. Just a little. Just make it have fun. I'm just gonna do it right on top of there. Like I said. Oh! Anyway, just mix that around. For the pieces that don't have enough oil, just make sure they got a little something, something on them. Wrapped in foil, ready to go in the oven. Okay, so next, I wanna take care of my breakfast bake. So what that's gonna consist of is 
Okay, it's supposed to be potatoes, but we're trying to lose weight, so I'm gonna have two red potatoes because they're really healthy. They're the healthiest potato you can eat. And I'm gonna mix it in with some cauliflower rice. So a nice, good base. The next is going to be the spinach, onion, and mushroom little medley thing. I'm gonna make that nice and good, like a nice little saute. Then I'm gonna do ground turkey. Could've did sausage, but sausage has a lot of sodium, so cutting it down to ground turkey. And after we get it all together, you know, in between the layers, it's gonna be a little cheese, just a little smidge of cheese, cause you know, how can you make a breakfast bake without cheese? Exactly. So after that, when I, once I have everything all seasoned and all good and ready to go, we're gonna pour the white eggs, the egg whites through it, and then boom, throw it in the oven, and then boom, breakfast bake. All right, they're nice and clean. Funny story, so when I was ordering these online, I was like, oh, they're like a dollar per pound. So I'm sitting here thinking I'm getting two pounds. They gave me two freaking potatoes, just two. And I was like, so they're a dollar each. That makes no sense. I could have went downstairs to my market and got a pound for like a dollar 49. Craziness. But we're not gonna complain about that. We're gonna keep life moving. All right, so I got the potatoes cut up, got them all diced and everything ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the pan. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get the cauliflower rice out. It's in the um, freezer, so I'm gonna get these cooked because it's gonna take a little bit longer to like reduce down and get soft. So once they get close to being soft, then I'll throw in the cauliflower. And usually I put onions in this, but I'm gonna save the onions for when I make the spinach. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I got potatoes cooked in. Like I said, I add a little olive oil in the pan. Got them going, so I'm gonna add a little seasoning. So let's go ahead and start with the garlic powder. A little heavy on it, but garlic is delicious, so get it. Pepper, of course. This is dash, because you know we want flavor without salt. <laughs> And you know what? You know what I hate about that? Miss Dash do have salt. They have celery salt. And that's still salt. Technically they be lying. That's all I wanted to like point out. Ooh. Smells so good. Looks so good. Don't have enough oil though. Make sure you have enough oil because yeah, you don't want it to burn. For well, fun fact, if you want potatoes to cook, quite well, you need to cover them. Oh, that's the wrong one. But I have the other one in the dishwasher because I was supposed to dishwash yesterday. You want them to simmer low potatoes because otherwise they're gonna cook so fast and you're gonna get condensation falling off like what's happening now. Don't do what I just did. All right, so one of the potatoes have busted open so that lets me know that they might be ready, so. Yep, item number two out the way. So we got the sweet potatoes out the way and I do need to throw the cauliflower in because those potatoes are cooking faster. I guess it's the power of having red potatoes over rested potatoes. But anyway, I did put the cauliflower rice in the microwave for like four minutes just to, you know, for like three minutes just to, you know, get them thawed out a little bit so I can throw them in here. So now I'm gonna add those in. I didn't expect that much water to come out, but we're just gonna roll with it. Matter of fact, no, we're not. We're gonna turn. We're gonna throw some of that out of there. Cause I don't want no watery uh, potatoes and like no base. The base has to be like nice and regular because again, the egg whites is gonna be the water. All right, next is gonna get the meat started. Again, by this point, you know where this came from. I got ground turkey, whole foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it looks extra healthy. So most like super lean turkey or ground anything doesn't make enough juice. So I'm gonna add a little olive oil to the pan and I'm gonna throw this in there. Okay, just that much was added. Put that heat up a little bit and then I'm gonna toss this on up in here. All right, we're just gonna go in with the salt. I'm gonna season this like it's ground beef. So one nice and tasty. 
And honestly, you can eat as much salt as you want. Just make sure you're drinking enough water. I don't know why people are so afraid of salt. Got the pepper on deck. Go ahead and get me some garlic powder. You can be heavy with that. Let me add in, add in the onion powder. And I should do it for now. Because again, you taste as you go. So that way, ain't no surprises when it come out. Ain't no, oh. We cook for somebody, oh, how you like it? And you won't even know what it, what it tastes like. You should know your food slab because you tasted it. Like when I be cooking, I know my food gonna hit. I, I know it be like on point, so I'm gonna be worried. Okay. Okay, we got the cauliflower and potato medley together. I finished with the ground turkey. It was so white and looks clean and fresh. It tastes fresh too. Oh my gosh, responsibly sourced. And now we gotta do the spinach, onion, and mushroom mixture so off camera i went ahead and cut up the mushrooms and the onions so i'm just gonna throw those on there so i got that cooking you already know a little salt a little pepper i don't do it too much with this one i wait till the finish comes in a little salt and pepper so it don't cook by itself so i'm gonna let the onions cook down enough to where they're transparent All right, spinach is in. I did one bag of the baby spinach. Um, Then wash it, because as you see, triple wash. Ain't got new nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna that cook down. I do have a second bag. I only got a second bag because, you know, this looks like a lot of spinach, but y'all know spinach be deceiving folks. So, I'm probably gonna have a pinch of spinach and I'm throw this whole bag in because I don't mind my mixture being berry spinach based because again, spinach is good for the colon. I learned that from Timmy Turner back in the day. Spinach is good for colon, but also spinach is good for digestion and whatever you eat will come right on through. You eat a lot of spinach, so. I'm gonna hand do that and it makes the breakfast bake a lot more um, healthy. Even though it's pretty healthy as is, but you know, nice little quick breakfast. I can't wait till it's done, I'm gonna show you y'all how beautiful it looks and boom you have breakfast for a week actually this might make two weeks but you got breakfast for two whole weeks y'all see that that's all it gave me trifling i'm gonna add my other bag in and i'm good to go got myself covered see that's why you always gotta have a backup okay the moment we've all been waiting on now i'm about to go ahead and assemble the casserole well breakfast bake breakfast bake casserole yeah let's get started take some like spam it's butter flavored you can have anything but spray the pan so it don't burn you're gonna take the potato cauliflower mix and put it all at the bottom Make sure it's nice and even or not you know it's your world but i like mine nice and even because i like to have nice and even bites next you take your spinach mix try to get as much water out as possible because you don't want your stuff mushy. But put that on top, the next layer. I like to try to squeeze it out, wring it out, essentially. Ooh, 
looks delish. I'm going to do my Italian blend next. It's like a little nice layer to make everything mesh together. So something real slight. You don't have to like make it like lasagna because again, we're trying to be healthy here and cheese and me don't get along that well. Now I'm gonna take my turkey, just put all over there. And again, I already know it's gonna slap because I tasted it as I went, so I know it's gonna it's gonna be good. Ain't no surprise. Ain't no like ooh. Or, oh my gosh, I added more salt. You already knew where you should have added it at, but if not, you already know. Individually, you can always add salt and pepper. But as for me, I know this is going to jump. You know, if I was made pepper bug people, I know I could have got the validation, but I already know what's good. And yeah, I just like mine to be like a little bit more grounded, but that's all I was doing right here. It's not necessary. Anyway, last part. Take your egg whites, shake it up real good. That actually, yeah, that's not gonna be enough, but oh well, good enough for me. Just add a little salt. Cause egg whites by themselves, you know that's disgusting. Who who could deal? Cause I can't. Oh, little garlic, little pepper. Up. You don't gotta do too much. This is your base. Then you pour it all over the mixture. Actually, that was enough. Oh, I did not need a bigger, bigger one. For those of you watching, this pint size is perfect. Going in with a little bit more cheese. Again, this is not no lasagna. It's not even no true casserole dish, so don't pile it on or do pile it on, you know. If you're not trying to be healthy, you just want to eat this because it's good. Be my guest. As for me, I think I even overdid it with this, but it looks delish. You know it's done when the eggs are done. So yeah, go in, in the oven. Nice, healthy, and light. Let's go ahead and get into the good stuff. So I'm gonna make my kale. I make a nice sauteed kale and I'm just gonna cut the onions and then this is really like easy. That's why I waited for last. So cut the onions and then I'll see you later. For this portion, I'm going to be using grapeseed oil. Just a little bit because here's the onions. Let that heat up and cook. Oh, salt, you already know. So I went ahead and added in my kale. It's triple washed, so I didn't have to wash it, so I threw it in as is. My onions are at the bottom. Now I'm adding in my vegetable oil. Did I say vegetable oil? I meant vegetable stock. So I let that cook and cook it down until it's like nice and soft. And actually I don't cook it until it's nice and soft, but like tolerable because I do like to have it a little bit 
firm because I do know that when the greens are somewhat firm, they, it does something with your digestive system. So pretty much it's hard to break down and makes your body work faster, harder and boosts your metabolism and boom, like it's just healthier. So I like them a little bit sturdy. So I'm gonna cook them until like they're nice and tolerable. And yes, we are finished with our kale. I'll give you a nice little glimpse of that. Here is our kale, nice and sauteed. Like I said, the onion's a little bit brown because the gravy oil just doesn't last. It just goes away. It's like you never put oil in in the first place. But I actually don't mind that because when I get a burger, I get sauteed onions and I like them like browner and it just be so delicious. So I don't mind that. And if I do say so myself, the taste is impeccable. For seasonings, we did some Mrs. Dash, we did garlic powder, we did some salt. And I kept it simple because I have vegetable broth and that brings its flavor on its own and the onions have its own flavor and I kept it simple because we like to keep our greens nice and simple and healthy so. I went ahead and cut up the beef. Yes, I am making a stir fry with steak. And I know you guys might be wondering like, oh my gosh, she's eating red meat. Red meat is the worst thing to eat if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to do all that. First of all, steak, just beef in general, has a lot of protein. And you want protein where you're working out and trying to lose weight. Protein feeds the muscles. And I got the top sirloin. Sirloin is the, the healthiest steak you can get. Also got a grass fed, antibiotic free, and it's, it's lean. It's lean as it possibly can be. So lean beef is good. And plus, I just, I personally just don't like the taste of chicken as of late. Like as of late, I just cannot fathom eating chicken but I think about oh chicken stir fry or chicken that's like ugh but I just don't want it so I got steak because I still like steak especially when it's lean steak lean steak tastes like chicken as far as like it not being heavy it it, it goes straight through you to be honest with you so I'm gonna show you how to make a stir fry with steak and how you can be healthy and still lose weight eating the things that you love okay now it's stir fry time so Going in with the same pan I just had, I'm going to start with the frozen stuff first to get it, you know, thawed out, get it all ready to go. I want this as vegetable packed as possible because I am at a steak. It's lean steak, so it doesn't really matter, but I want this more vegetable based because, again, we're on a weight loss journey, so we're trying to lose weight. But here is some of the vegetables I'm going to be using. I got the bird's eye oriental stir fry. I got some Walmart. So the bird's eye oriental stir fry. I didn't even read that it had a, a sauce pouch in here. I didn't read that it had a sauce pouch in here, but I won't be using that. I'll use it for like the other half, but today I'm gonna be using a different kind of sauce. A sauce I got from, you guessed it, Whole Foods. So we are gonna cook that up. We also gonna cook up this three pepper blend and I still buy my own peppers there's too much work when they already come together but then I got the broccoli like real fresh broccoli cut up and also got me some real onions cut up I'm put that in I'm gonna cook this with the frozen vegetables then you know I got my night my steak nice and cut lean and beautiful so yeah I believe that stir fry pouch already has um Mushrooms in the back. I'm gonna add a little bit more mushrooms because again, mushrooms are healthy. Let's make it healthy because we are adding rice. Oh my God, you're adding rice? Yes, we're adding rice. And we're gonna do it in the proper portion size because again, it's all about modesty, eating stuff in moderation. So I can eat rice, I can eat steak, I can eat all that and lose weight and watch, y'all gonna see. Me. I love, 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 love peppers. Turn it down a little bit. I'm picking through this because I wanted the carrots mostly out of here because you know I already added my own peppers. 
and I'm gonna add in the edamame. Onions. So I'm gonna go ahead with that cook. Look how colorful and beautiful that is. Yes. This is my favorite part, part I've been waiting on. But I'm gonna let that cook down a lot more. And when it's a little bit like halfway through, I'm gonna add in my real broccoli. I'm adding some mushroom. I'll add in the steak with all that too. And the sauce I'll be using. Soy ginger sauce. It goes perfect with um, stir fry and plus ginger is so good for the skin. So of course I want this and everything I could put it in. So we just gonna drown it in this. Because guess what? 15. Ugh, could you please? There we go. It is 15 calories per tablespoon. So anyway, yes. 15 calories I'll do like maybe like four tablespoons of this and yeah call it a day yes it does have sodium and it has soy so so it's delicious so I actually might reduce it down to two tablespoons it, it depends it depends on how it tastes Taking a look into my fridge, my salads, like my lunch is on the right side. And on the left side is my dinner. And then for breakfast, 
I got it in this bin right here. Breakfast is served. I got the rest in the freezer. I got meals for next week. I got breakfast for next week and I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. So that's how I meal prep. The thing about meal prepping is you have to meal prep it to you. Like people can tell you how to meal prep, say, oh, just help you lose weight. But if you're not enjoying the food, you're not gonna lose weight as fast as other people. And really losing weight is mental for the most part. So you have to be like, hey, like, oh, I get to eat. Or, oh, I get to eat dinner and it's good. Like, how could, you, like, imagine trying to lose weight and all you're eating is some bland ass chicken, some plain broccoli and just some rice or maybe not even rice because you know i know they tell y'all not to eat carbs it's just like how can you lose weight how can you truly stick to your plan if you're not happy see me i'm gonna eat me some steak but i made sure i got the top sirloin i made sure i got the extra lean steak that steak is so clean and so light it, it's like i'm eating chicken literally and also that sauce is so good. Like when I was eating, I was like, oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Like that's how you wanna do. That's how you wanna meal prep. You wanna be like, oh, I'm about to enjoy this. Oh, this food's about to be so good. I just worked out good. I get to bless myself with this delicious meal and it's healthy and I get to lose weight. Like it is so much easier to lose weight when you're happy and also when you're enjoying your food. So I'm gonna close out this vlog. If you guys want me to post what I um have for snacks, I'll be more than happy to because that's an easy video. But um Hopefully you enjoyed my meal prep. This meal prep took a total of two hours. So two hours out of your Sunday is not bad, as well as um, cleaning. Cleaning only took like an hour. Like, you know, clean as you go and it's much easier. And then guess what? I ain't gotta cook for two weeks. I ain't gotta clean no dishes for two weeks because I'm just gonna take every container, throw it in the dishwasher as I get it done. And I ain't gotta wash dishes for two weeks. And then when I'm ready to meal prep, boom, I get to wash my uh, containers and then I'm back at it. And that is so much easier. It's so much easier to keep, keep a routine when you already have it pre-planned. Also, the whole point is drink water. We all know to drink water. Cater your meal plan to you. Like I did, like I only got four days in the fridge right now because I'm leaving to Chicago on um, Friday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday is not my responsibility as far as cooking. But next week, I have meals for every single day. I'll do some more, um, I'll have to do a meal prep for lunch, for sure, because I only have salad for this week, but salad was easy, like, that cost like $10, $10, guys, exactly. So anyway, I'm gonna close out this vlog. If you made it this far, please drop a like, as well as drop me a, um, a thumbs up emoji. If you wanna see more, just, you know, make sure you subscribe, and I appreciate your time. You guys have a blessed day.